welcome to One Stitch After Another. It is December the 19th. I've been up since the crack of dawn. I have done most of my Christmas shopping. Um, I've just got to get fresh stuff closer to the day, like bread, the odd vegetables. I've got I've got quite a few bits and pieces, but anyway, welcome. Um, all of my plants that you saw me watering in the introduction are all now in their place. Let me just have a look at the one that was looking a bit sorry for itself. It has picked up. We'll have to keep an eye on it. We will definitely have to keep an eye on it. Um, I thought I would start off today. Let me just get the yarn, actually. I've taken it out of the box. Um, I thought I would start off today by showing you the progress that I've made on my Anna and Carlos mystery knit along stocking. Well, it's not a mystery knit along, I guess, because you know that you're knitting a stocking. But um, every day there are um, some new clues and I think I'm pretty much caught up. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, I think I've done most of 16, part of 17. Yes, so I'm, I'm, I'm a day or so behind, but you can see it's kind of taking shape. Um, I've got a big foot. How many days have we got left? I think I've got about another eight, lots of six. Six eights is 48, is that right? But yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. So you can see you've got a snowflake motif, got this adorable little man and woman motif holding hands. I've got to just finish that. But yeah, I had a little sit, sit and, and knit last night and I watched can't remember the, whether it was two or three episodes of The Crown before I forget because I have been very bad at remembering this I'm going to do pattern of the day so let me just find my Ravelry page um I asked you a question yesterday about whether you read the description box some people said they do some people said they don't um da -da 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 Ravelry Okay, and my notebook, favourites, festive notes. I'm learning a bit more about Ravelry. I didn't even know that you could do bundles in your favourites. So that's quite good, isn't it? Let's view them then. And today's is also a free pattern, if I can find it. This is so cute. If you've got a little girl, if you've got a granddaughter, um, a niece, I think this would just be so cute and you could do it in grey or brown or white but it's a little Christmas mousey that could be a hanging decoration on your tree. Sorry the light is so bad it is pouring with rain at the moment and I just can't get decent light anywhere I'm really sorry. Um, it's by Feeny, Phoenix Knits on Ravelry and it's free. And it's so cute. You can like hang it from your tree, have it as a little ornament. Again, you can make a little box for it to go in and use these little scraps. Minimal, minimal um, requirements. Black, white, red, whatever colour you want your mouse to be. Um, it's done in DK and it would be three inches high, but I'd do it smaller because I do all ply and fingering mostly. I'm quite excited because my friend Katie is coming in a little while. And we're going to taste test some Christmas crisps and snacks, which I'll be featuring on my other channel. I can't get into this. Whoever tied this knot did it very, very well. And I haven't got any scissors to hand. That's poor planning, isn't it? Let me walk you over to my scissors. I've just made some Christmas cards as well. I am um, not sending many Christmas cards this year. The cost of postage is just prohibitive, isn't it? So I've opened that now. Let's come back over and I'll I'll show you one of my Christmas cards as well. Which one shall I show you? Getting a lovely view of the floor in my chest. I bet you're ever so glad you tuned in. This one's quite a nice one. I'll show you how to make this card Ow. on my other channel, Paper and Twine. There we go. Oh, I just stubbed my toe. There. Little Christmas card, what I made in under 10 minutes. 
with a watercolour background. Yes, anyway, I said this is going to be a short one today. I think they're all going to be short now up until Christmas. Um, yeah, because everyone's bored, aren't they? Right, we do have the story. And, oh, I have had a quick little sneak peek of some of your comments when I was editing. I was waiting for something to upload on YouTube yesterday. And it shows comments you've not yet responded to. And there's quite a few newbies. So welcome. And, you know, please do comment. I do value it. So December the 19th. Oh, we're getting to the really good bits soon. Florence clasped her hands together in anticipation. Beth paused from her reading and smiled. Jo had stopped work to listen and was supping from a large mug of tea. As Beth glanced around, she was aware of a scurrying. <coughs> Excuse me. As if animals were darting out of sight. The barn seemed especially full of animals. Gerald was in his usual spot. The other animals were in from the cold and at birth there were birds. Joe had noticed a couple of sheep in the woodland that he thought had come over from Drewston Hall and had led them into the barn. He'd go over later to let them know they'd broken down another fence. They stood companionably chewing and looking at Beth. What Beth didn't know was that just out of her line of sight there was a there were a myriad of animals all listening and waiting for the really good bit. Do you know who else had taken to joining the little group for the evening reading of a Christmas carol? Angus and his wife Dora with their cubs Albert, Arthur and Victoria. They were so enjoying the company of the other animals and Angus was said to be a little less gruff than usual. Some animals were also retelling the story by the fence to the horses over at Drewston who had then galloped back to the Drewston Hall to retell the story to the other animals. Sometimes the story changed a little between retellings. What a wonderful scene. Can you picture it? Answer me one question said Charles Dickens, writing in A Christmas Carol. Are these the shadows of things that will be, or are they the shadows of things that may be only? Let's pop you in here. I do feel like I'm forgetting something today. Ooh. Oh, now this is an unusual colour for Sherry, or certainly in the advents that I've had. Now that reminds me of a little bit of magpie colours. Yesterday I had to bang the window because there was a magpie on my bird feeder. And when I pulled up on the drive with all my shopping, it was still very dark out. There was a squirrel inside the nut feeder, so I tooted my horn. And he nonchalantly kind of ambled off and I could see there was a robin, robin sitting on the fence by the garage and as soon as the squirrel had gone he came and flew over but look at that very nice anyway I think that is me done um yeah I will be back tomorrow do take care everybody and whatever you're stitching put love into every stitch bye now